So you're looking to share brushes and import them into Hide Paint. I'm going to break it down into the two processes. So let's get straight to it. If we go to our brushes, you can go ahead and on any brush that you've adapted, for example, on Basic, I've created a monoline brush. You can go ahead and share this. And it's very simple to do. All you do is go up to the three dots in the top right. And then you can go ahead and share this brush. Of course, that shares it as an individual brush. If you want to go ahead and you've created a whole collection of brushes, you can share it as a group instead. So you'll get the actual full section. So if I go ahead and hit share this brush, I then get the option of where I want to go ahead and share this to. Now for you, maybe you'll want to share it to something like Google Drive so you can share it with friends and family, or maybe you just want to share it to your file so you can WhatsApp it to them, etc. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap on save to file. And once you've found a folder that you're happy to save it in, just hit the option of save, of course. So now let's go ahead and then do the importing part of the brush. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is go to where you've saved the file to. So if you downloaded it, say from Google Drive, you're going to need to save it to your files on your device, whether it's your iPad or Android device, it doesn't really matter. Now, once you've found the brush in your files, you then want to go ahead and tap on it in order to get the options to share. This may vary depending on what device you're on. For me, for example, on my iPad, if I tap on the file, it opens it here. And then if I hit the option of share, that's what we want to try and do. So if we tap on share, you'll then get the option here of all your apps and you want to scroll through until you find high paint. Again, this may vary slightly if you're on Android. So you can tap on high paint. For me, I get a little window that pops up and I can hit the option of import to high paint. And once I do that, it's then been imported. I can then go up to my brushes. And because it was a singular brush, it goes into this section here for imported. You can see I've already added it in there. And there we go, we've got the brush in there. And if you were to share a actual full group of brushes, the group name would appear here in the listing, potentially down towards the bottom here, and you would have all of your brushes in there. So I hope you found this video super easy and simple to follow. Make sure to drop a like, and I'll see you in the next one.